Meanwhile, an emotional day in Lynchburg as the Flames head coach Turner Gill steps down to spend more time with his wife, who was diagnosed with a heart condition back in 2016. Our own Eric Johnson has more on Gill's decision. It was a heartfelt, emotional message from Turner Gill this afternoon as he addressed a room full of media and football staff members. He says his decision to retire was a difficult one, yet the right one to make. Gill and I both wanted us to be able to get Liberty through the transition and through the last three years of my contract. Due to uh, several factors over the last few months, um, I have decided that I need to retire from coaching this year. The Flames certainly turned up the heat under Gill's tenure. They posted a winning record in each of his seven seasons, finishing at 47 and 35. That includes four Big South titles and a 2014 FCS playoff appearance. Perhaps the most notable accomplishment was leading the Flames into the FBS transition the past two seasons. Transition here from the FCS to FBS was a, an exciting time, but a challenging time. Um, very, very proud of all the things that have occurred. Director of Athletics Ian McCall and the players were surprised about the decision, but say the way that Gill went about it speaks to his character. Just something you have to respect and admire that, uh, you know, uh, in his life, uh, faith comes first, family comes second, and football comes later. Life isn't about football. There's greater things out there than football, and, you know, family is what matters, and uh, we know he has to take care of his wife, and, you know, it wasn't a letdown or anything like that towards us. As far as the coaching search is concerned, it has begun. In fact, Ian McCall says he hopes there will be a rather swift process as they hope to wrap that up by the end of next week. In Lynchburg, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.